everyone and welcome to my tutorial on painting a child's eye. Be sure to check out the tutorial I did on skin tones to see how I work the rest of her face. Every so often this video has a slight wobble. I didn't realise until I watched it back so apologies, I hope you don't find that too off-putting and I promise I'll sort it out for next time. I begin by outlining the eye with some lovely earthy red pastel pencil. I want the corner of the eyes where it's pink and fleshy to be in first so that the rim of her eye will sit on top. It doesn't matter if I go over the lines a bit as I can reinforce that outline with the lighter pencils. Like with all my tutorials I'll use little bits of time lapse to speed things up but show you the important stuff in real time. Now with a dark brown I start to pick out the top line of her eye. I'm avoiding using any black too soon here as it's delicate work and I don't want to commit to black too soon. Noticing every curve and how the lines flow away from the corners is so important. The slightest wrong angle here and the eyes just won't look right. So I take my time and I lightly build up strength in the line. A freshly snapped piece of Unison's BE14 providing me with a good edge for this slither of eyelid. I'm really not leaning heavily with anything yet, still becoming sure of the shapes and gradually building it up. And now I use some black on that top line. Here's a good tip for painting the whites of an eye. Never use white. I'm using a very pale blue here and her other eye is an even more shadow than this one. This is Unison BV7, a very pale blue I love for this job. I can go over the edges of the iris, it doesn't matter, as it will go on top anyway. I use the big soft sticks for their strength of pigment. Then I can neaten up with the pencils. This peel yellow is often a useful colour for this type of job. And now for the iris, and I probably should have broken the big chunk of blue-grey, but you'll see what happens when I make a bit of a mess and how easily sorted it is. Without being too particular, I give it a soft rub into the paper with my fingertip. I start to clean up that lower rim now and this looks really bright as I'm applying it but once all the other highlights in the face are in the level will be right. You can also see how much it sinks in when I rub it.
You can see on such a small area that things can get a bit messy. So I'm constantly using the pastel pencils to help me clean up and tweak the shape of things. Now with my black pencil, I begin to outline the iris. Her eyes are a deep blue with flecks of green, but they're quite dark in the photo. I can come back in with bits of the blue-grey and then use my paper tortillon to shape the outer edge of the iris. I can also use the lighter pencils to shape it from the other side. adding some flecks of lighter greens and greys and giving it a good press into the paper. It's so important to get the shape and the placement of the iris correct. I'm still a bit off here on the top left of the iris. I really only noticed how off it was watching this back, but thankfully I do sort it out later. I begin to add the dark pupil area. I'm using the black pencil in circular motions and leaning quite heavily. As always, my blending tortillon is great for uncovering those first colours I applied. Again, I come back in with the light pencils to create that nice sharp edge. A bit more work at strengthening the darks and neatening up the whites of the eyes. It may seem like I've worked this area a lot already, but each time I come back I notice a little alteration to the shape. I also want to avoid going too dark on such a small area, so I want to just gradually tweak the upper line of the eye. Now with my light yellow I can do some highlighting around this corner and down the nose, also at the outer corner. A 
nice fleshy tone like Unison's RE7 for above the eye and always trying to rub the layers in lightly. Then some A7. And then my brightest colour, grey 27. You can see how I built up these skin tones though in my other tutorial. Please check that out too. Now I'm just tweaking at this left corner and the eyelid. So many small adjustments. But in portraiture, especially in the eyes, if you're the tiniest fraction out, it can be very noticeable. Now for the task of adding some highlights and wetness to the eye. I've used a piece of white for this little spot in the corner. Lots of my pastels are in broken form so it's never too hard to find a sharp point. Similarly I use a light blue for some reflection on the iris. I don't have to be too neat as I can use a pencil or my tortillon to shape it after. The highlights here aren't very bright so it's good to press them in to dull them a little. Then I can re-darken that pupil and shape the highlights a little better. Well I'm almost there now. You can see that there's a lot of fiddly work to be done on features on this scale. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please check out my growing library and hit subscribe. Hope this has been helpful to you and thanks for watching.